What's more likely? Never say never, but never. <laughs> All right, first up, a couple of NFL topics, and then we'll hit uh, some basketball to take us home. What's more likely, guys? Who's more likely to make it back to the Super Bowl next year? Chiefs or Eagles? Oh, that's easy. That's, it's the Chiefs. That's easy. easy. They play in the harder conference. No, it's the Chiefs. What do you mean? Because the Philadelphia Eagles, not only did they lose their offensive coordinator in Shane Steichen, so that's a, bo- a voice in the room, another voice in the head of Jalen Hurts. They got to replace that. Oh, man, I forgot. They got to replace the defensive coordinator. I mean, of the, the guy that just gave him 38 defense. points? I mean, it was Patrick Mahomes. Let's get rid so of that guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but they have to get rid of I mean, let's not discount what he did in the regular season. Now, this was a number two ranked defense in the National Football League, led to the NFL in sacks. So they got to replace not only one, but two coordinators. Right. And, oh, by the right. way, they got to figure out how to retool this defense with a lot of aging superstars. Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox, Robert Quinn, and Dominican Sue. We can start naming some of the guys. Remember, one-year deals for C.J. Gardner-Johnson and also right. James Bradbury. So as much as I think that the Philadelphia Eagles have a good chance, I just don't know because I think the NFC will be a lot better. But the Chiefs, let's be honest. The last five years, the road to the Super Bowl has gone through MCI. And that's the Kansas City Airport abbreviation for those out there listening. (laughs) (laughs) But they're going to be without Eric Bieniemy might be uh, nearing a deal with Washington soon. Correct. But is it really Eric Bieniemy? Is it really Andy Reid? We'll have that. Oh, by the way, they still got a quarterback coach over there by the name of Matt Nagy who called plays and or who has been in the head of. Uh, or was there when Patrick first started. So you've got that to deal with. So I think that a little bit easier in that sense. And also, too, they're in a division that's still up and down right now. Justin Herbert, how do you feel about him? The Raiders, they don't necessarily have their quarterback in place. And we've been talking Russ more Westbrook on the NBA, but Russ, will he cook in terms of Wilson in the NFL with the Broncos and now Peyton? So I'm still going with the best team in their division. And they may have an easier road to the number one seed. So I'm going Chiefs. What's more likely? Kirk, we're literally like we're sharing a brain right now (laughs) because my next topic, AFC West. Oh, wow. There it is. What's more likely? Chargers finally broke through and made the playoffs last year. You know, they lost in epic fashion with that big Jaguars comeback. So what's more likely? Chargers win a playoff game in 2023 or Sean Payton gets Russ and the Broncos into the postseason. Oh, damn. Oh, man. Chargers win a playoff game yeah. or Broncos just make it? I'm going to go with the Broncos make the playoffs. I think they have an outstanding defense. We saw it this year that held them in games. I mean, there's times that they just like the NFL is if you can score 17 points, you're supposed to win. That offense couldn't even score 17 <laughs> in Denver. I think they'll score more than that with the defense that they have. I think that they make the playoffs as a seven seed next year. I just have that faith in what they're doing. Possible defensive coordinator, Rex Ryan, possibly. You saw that being floated around. So um, I I look for that. As far as the Chargers, it's the Chargers still. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, (laughs) let's be honest. They were up 27 to zero and they lost the playoff game to the Jacksonville Jaguars, the Jaguar. That's still in bar. That's still fresh in my mind, man. I saw Trevor Lawrence at the Super Bowl, and I said, "I mean, at the, at the uh, Pro Bowl," and I asked him about that. Like, you were down twenty-seven nothing. He was like, "Yeah, but we still feel like we could have an opportunity to win." Like, that's confidence, but that's yeah. also bad coaching on the opposite side yeah, too. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. All right, uh, we've been talking a lot about it because it's gonna, it's be there. You're already seeing it everywhere. What the, what are the Bears gonna do at number one, Kirk? What so? What's more likely? Justin Fields gets traded or the Bears trade the number one pick? I think the Bears trade the number one pick. You have to. I I think you still have Justin Fields under his rookie contract. You still basically can control him for the next three seasons. Okay, so you have a lot that you can still, I think, figure out. And if you can gain more players, that's what they, they want more players, right? Remember, they traded away Robert Quinn and Roquan Smith. They brought in Chase Claypool. So they're bringing in assets to help Justin Fields. And you can add maybe one of the best pass rushers in this draft and Will Anderson, maybe even adding a wide receiver, another offensive lineman. There's more guys that can be impact players right away for Chicago. And if you're able to gather more picks, then why why not? Why do that? Because if you go out and get 
a top quarterback, Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, whoever it may be, you could still be in the same situation two years from now. So I'd rather go with a guy who I can still mature and nurture, get things going in the right direction. Who knows? He could be like Jalen Hurts, right? Give him a couple more years under his belt. And now you've got some players that are surrounding him that makes him a better quarterback. All right, one more football one before we move on. Uh, we're getting to that time of the year, a couple weeks before the start of the new league year. We're, the rumor's starting up. Guys might get cut. Guys might get traded. More likely to be playing on a new team in 2023. DeAndre Hopkins, Jalen Ramsey. Oh, wow, that's a good one. Whew, I would go more likely Hopkins. I think Hopkins has to figure it out and I think obviously we all saw that sound bite with Bill Belichick and DeAndre Hopkins right when the Patriots played against the uh, Cardinals on Monday Night Football how much they respect each other yep. could that be a nice little landing spot give Mac Jones and Bill O'Brien the new offensive coordinator in New England a weapon the, or because that even could that even work DeAndre Hopkins and Bill O'Brien reuniting. Bill O'Brien traded DeAndre Hopkins. <laughs> he traded. That's what I'm saying. Could that even work, first of all, as I'm saying it out loud? I think Jalen Ramsey, quiet has kept, had a really decent year. I think he's he's had a year in which it's solid for every other quarterback, but when you're considered the best, he gave up some big plays. But I think he also took a lot of chances. And they were just a, a bad team this year. The Rams were just a really bad team. I think he'll have a rebound year. But he is one of those pieces you have to keep on your defense. Now, the following year, that's a little bit different. But I think more likely DeAndre Hopkins is on a different team than Jalen Ramsey. All right, quick golf one before we get to uh, basketball. Uh, they're playing in the same group right now. Tiger Woods, Rory McIlroy. So what's more likely? Tiger makes the cut in more than two majors this year or Rory wins a major? I think Rory wins a major. I think Roy more what's more likely is Rory wins a major. I mean, he he seems always more dialed in when it comes to these majors. He was so close reason. last year at the open. He was oh, I mean, runner up in the Masters. He has been dialed in. I saw him win the Dubai tournament a couple weeks ago. I mean, it was to me, I think he's locked in with Tiger. Again, this was more of his tournament right now, the Genesis. So he kind of knows the terrain. He knows how to handle it. I just don't know with some of the other venues for Tiger Woods, can he handle obviously what it takes the the day to day for him having to recover after an 18 hole round and the process that he goes through. I'm just going to stick with what I do know if it's Roy McIlroy uh, definitely winning a major or yeah, winning a major this year. Tiger bogey on six. Oh. To go to minus one. All right, NBA. What's more likely to be the highlight of NBA All Star Weekend? The three point shootout or the slam dunk contest? I think you got YouTubers now, so I'm gonna go with the dunk contest. That's all we remember. No one remember who won. Matter of fact, who won last year's three point contest? <laughs> <laughs> who won last year's dunk contest? We I don't remember. And, uh, Simmons from uh, Simons from the Simons. Trailblazers Simons. won the dunk won contest, the dunk. right? Really. But yeah. he's out. He was going to go for back-to-back, -back and then he got injured, yeah? I think he's doing the three-point shootout this year. Mm. Yeah, not, Tatum maybe. and Dame Lillard in the three-point okay. shootout. So more I'm star a, power yeah, more in the star shootout. In the shootout. I'm right. I, I, can, I can see this three-point shootout, maybe, but the more what we'll, we'll, we'll talk about more, I think maybe nah, it's not. McClung. I will go McClung. I, think, I will say we, we're talking more about the dunk contest only because, number one, either it was really, really good <laughs> or we're gonna, people are voting to get rid of it. Right? Well, it Nate, Nate Robinson <laughs> and uh, Birdman the one year. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 85 <laughs> dunks later. We're talking about if is it really, really good? Like, oh, the dunk contest <laughs> is back. Or we're saying, just get rid of it. All right, last one. Uh, well, who's more likely to be the best duo the rest of the season? The new one in Phoenix, Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, or Tatum and Brown, Celtics and Suns, your two favorites for the NBA title right now. Ooh, I, can I go option C? I would like option D. I would like option C. C is what? Is Kyrie and Luca? Come Option on. D is what? Embiid. And when who? Harden. Oh, oh, James Harden is done. He's I'm done. Like, okay, you, you're. I, I say you what's haven't more watched like the Sixers at all this year. I can tell. <laughs> I like the Kyrie Luca. You I, do? I do like it. How? I really do. 
Uh, because I think you have two great scores. Two ball dominant guards. Yeah, but Kyrie yeah. is in a situation where he knows this is Luca's team. This is not his team. Does he know that? Kirk? I think he does know do you, that. Do, does he know? Because he <laughs> does. There's a lot of other things that he doesn't I know. Think, I think he does know, and I think he's at a point right now in his career where he's like, okay, I'm going here to be a piece. I'm not going here to be the focal point. You have to understand that. You got to. Okay. I'm going to. I, I'm saying I like. All right, we're gonna see. First remember, off, Luka, first off, Luka just needed another legitimate score next to it. Clear yeah. rules violation of what's more likely. I, I gave know, you two options and you went with options. C. <laughs> <laughs> so is it, I like is it style, Booker Kurt. or Durant or is it Tatum you can't be placed in a box, Kurt. You know what I mean? You gotta do your own thing. All right, but if you want to go with your options. I would definitely go with the guys with the Suns. All right, how about that? Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.